Can OnlyFans do discount codes? Could we get sponsored by OnlyFans accounts? Is that where you uh, take a dump while wearing the Burger King crown? Where? On playing Uno? A royal flush. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes it is. But the toilet must be gold and the water must be wine. Yeah, if you're gonna That's hang dark. me, if you're gonna hang me, at least make it like a whole marionette situation. <laughs> couple of fellas on video hey buddy we did it yeah seriously we made the jump folks welcome everybody here it is our very own where are we where are we gonna be i mean we god says outer space to start right outer space felt like what i was gonna say yeah i mean it's like that's pretty run-of-the-mill stuff that's pretty like first time rookie stuff we could but probably put elon in outer space with his joint and just we could sitting here with us right behind the couch yeah, he is one of our most talked about people, and like he actually is our next guest. I, I oh, know right. we, were, we were gonna <laughs> save it for the end. I know we were gonna save it for the end, but dude, I gotta tell the people, Elon will be on the podcast. Who was supposed to be the guest this time? Was it Biden? Biden? No, it, it was. I don't even know what order we are releasing some of these episodes in, so it doesn't matter because oh, we're lying. It was from it was from the secret episode. All right, secret you know, time, and we announced it on there. So the one that comes out after that. So, yeah, maybe the last one was Biden. Or the next. Who knows? Who knows? I wonder if people even pick up on that. I feel like we kind of fly by it pretty quick at the end. We're like, oh, next time Biden. And then the song plays. No one even listens to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's as the song starts to play. Our next guest da -da 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 is Biden. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the music's already starting to overtake the audio at that point. Yeah. I wonder if, I wonder if people are getting those. But whatever. Oh, We've drawn Biden? attention to our own subtle joke. Biden's busy. <laughs> They started the Syrian drone strikes again. Did you see that news oh, update? Oh, dude, yeah. I'm. And then I saw another alert on my phone. Something, something about the justification for it being questioned legally already. Yeah. <laughs> like, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, even like... He's back in the White House. A, a person I know who is like very, you know, woke left, like... You know the type I'm talking about. I don't want to get too into it, but... Even they're, like, posting all this shit on Instagram about how Biden's doing bad. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but he's not the orange guy. Yeah. That is what people say. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. The stonks are up and I down, don't know but mostly think. up. I'll be honest. I don't know what to think. Yeah, this dude... The stomps have been fun to watch. I'm pretty much breaking even at this point with a lot of drama in between. <laughs> yeah. It's a great way to put it. Yeah. Most of my well-informed guesses that i've been informed about mm. from other people who actually pay attention ex-stepdad brother whoever those are doing well and they're doing also a very good and important job in balancing all of the stocks that i've independently chosen right right <laughs> yeah dude because that that's been me before in there like i remember especially when I had my internship, like first time I ever like really put money into the stock market and like, yeah, it all went down and then I was broke. So I had to sell at one point because <laughs> I didn't have any cash. <laughs> I don't know if I've told that before. That was when I was the worst lesson landed in uh in an airport in Punta Cana and needed a taxi cab to the hotel. You sold your stock right then. Yeah. And I got the instant <laughs> deposit from Robin Hood to take a cab to the hotel. I had oh not planned God. that far ahead. We welcomed you like a king. Yeah, dude. It was uh that was wild. <laughs> oh my god, that's that, incredible. What yeah. a story. And you also took Jerry's clothes, not your own. Oh, right. That story we might have told. We definitely did. We definitely did. What a great one. Yeah. We'll have Danny back. He's our next guest. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> this next episode's gonna be very crowded with How guests. How incredible if it was a round table with you, me, Danny, Elon, and Biden. <laughs> <sighs> we gotta work to set this up. Yeah. We I gotta don't do know it. a guy. I gotta be honest. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I know if there Danny. Is a, He's one of the guys. Right. I know that guy. In terms of the others, I don't know if there is a guy. I don't think that that can be done. Dude, well, you know what they say. There's six degrees of separation between all people, and there's only five people invited to that podcast, so we're good. Yeah, we gotta hunt down those six degrees. That's all it takes. You gotta meet six people. Well, global warming's already climbed like two Celsius, so I think that's like four and a half Fahrenheit okay one and a half degrees to go wow 
Yeah, if we heat up the earth, then everyone... it's <laughs> Everyone will be on our podcast. If we're talking about science, right? When you introduce energy into a closed system, the particles kind of accelerate around. You're right, yeah. And it happens the same way with humans on earth. When it gets hot, people kind of run around all over the place. So we're more likely to intersect with them in our lives. Exactly. Because just, of the increased temperature. Yeah, by pure volume of people met. That's flawless logic. Exactly. All right, I'm not recycling anymore. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just for that, I'm buying the double cartons of eggs at Walmart where there's plastic around the double cartons, too. Yeah, I will no longer be snipping my six-pack rings on soda. <laughs> Back to plastic straws, I'm bringing my own to Starbucks. Yeah. Disposable. The Earth's going to be a fucking jacuzzi by the 2022. Mark Bring our bathing suits. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, Get working on the beach body. Yeah, enjoy snow while it lasts because you'll never see it again. Enjoy the snow. Mm. Oh, poor Texas. I don't think that they're enjoying the snow. Yeah. Once in a 120 years storm, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I think that's all the records. It's so crazy because, like, how much snow was it? It was a decent amount. Okay. No, it was a decent amount, and it was over the course of, I think, several days. Right, right, right. And then it stayed very, very cold, so none Mm. of it melted. Oh, okay, okay. That was the big deal, too. Dude, yeah, that storm hit, like, 18 states. Yeah. Millions were without power for multiple days. Yeah. I can't imagine. Oh, my God. Because I remember in Jersey when I was in high school and we had Hurricane Sandy came through and, like, everyone was without power and there were, like, gas lines and, like, we were running on generator for a while. Like, the day you could get gas depended on your license plate. Like, if you had, if you ended in an even number or an odd number was like you got to go on even or odd days or whatever it was Whoa. to get other days you just couldn't get gas that's crazy rationing stuff yeah exactly and to imagine Looting, that world rioting. but also with no mobility and it's freezing <laughs> like geez my bees that's rough and not only is it freezing but we know freezing from yukon and connecticut for yeah. the last half decade or more yeah they know 40 degrees is very cold and then they're hit with this and freezing. Like, the houses aren't built the same way. The uh, the wardrobes are not filled the same way. Right. The cars and driving experience is nowhere near the same. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. I, I can't imagine what being an EMT was like in Texas for that week. Right. Yeah. Do, I mean, could they even get anywhere? Were the roads, like, drivable for EMTs? Gotta, gotta. Go slow. Yeah, if you can move at all. Like how many ambulances were getting stuck on the highway? Probably more than none. Oh my goodness, dude. What an absolute Horror. disaster. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Seriously. Have you seen Anthony Jesselnik's special, Thoughts and Prayers? I've seen one of his specials and I don't remember which that one it was. That is the earlier of the two. Then no, I saw the later one. Fire in the Maternity Ward? Yes. I think that one was not as good. Thoughts mm. and Prayers is spectacular. Yeah, I was like hyped for it and then I watched it. Anthony Jesselnik, at least that that set for me wasn't... I agree, mm. and I was disappointed by it. It was a little too formulaic. It was like a little bit stiff. Yeah. Which is like his thing, but wasn't he, for I me. Think it, I think it worked much better in Thoughts and Prayers. Mm. You should watch that soon. Okay. I've watched it several times, so I'm not going to rewatch it with you. Maybe a little portion of it. Yeah, though, yeah, but yeah. If you, have a, if you have a favorite bit. Oh. <sighs> All his bits are great. <laughs> He's in line with like, um, oh my God, why am I blanking? Three-piece suit, British. John Jimmy Carr. Oh, okay. There it is. He's fantastic. Mm. I've not been watching enough stand-up lately. Yeah. I mean, you watched it f- a lot for a long time. <laughs> I cleaned out Netflix more or less for a good portion of... That's so crazy. <laughs> like there were, I'm sure, some that I didn't catch, but it was only of like sub-genres that didn't interest me, I mm. guess. Like on the more performance side, and at the time I didn't watch a lot of improv or sketch. Shows. What was like? What was your type? Would you say like, what type of stand up did you gravitate uh, towards? I get, I don't know the hush Freya the proper words to describe it because pure sounds hoity toity. Right, right. But more of like the straight up stand up and whatever flavor that could come in. I don't. I love the setup punchline joke writers. Mm-hmm. I love the storytelling comedians. Right. I guess if I had a favorite, it would be in the line of the storytelling comedians. Okay. Which is, okay. I think, Tom, Burt, not, r- I mean, 
Joes are like hypotheticals. A yeah, lot of the yeah. Time, they're so not, not as many stories. Not exactly. Yeah. But like Tom and Burr, Burr is undeniable. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's closer to my vein. There's a lot of comedians that are really, really good. As like an aficionado of comedy, I'm glad. I, it makes me. Well, I'm saying as you are, I would say it makes me glad that like it does seem like a meritocracy because, you know, a lot of like very niche comedians that like most people don't. But like the kind of the ones that people and know they it's stand like, out and they're yeah. who I recommend a lot of the time. Right. Because people have seen the Netflix headline specials like Tom's and Burt's. Mm, mm. So like if somebody wants a comedian recommendation, that's not going to serve them. They already know about these people. Right. Got to dig deeper. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, this is not happening on YouTube. So Fantastic. good. Uh, Storytelling comedy series. A whole yeah, different like, lineup of comedians. They tell short, like five to twenty It's like sketch bits. comedy, yeah. Not sketches because they're all true stories. Like I think you should leave. Or no, this is not happening. This oh, sorry. Different I, was show. I think you should leave. <laughs> Jumping ahead. Right, That's right, That's the right. next one you want to bring up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is not happening. All true stories. Tons of different comics. They're all really fucking funny. And that's on YouTube. Check it out. There's like 200 and something episodes. Oh, yeah. I think you that's should leave. That's good bite-sized stand-up. Yeah. I think you should leave. That also I finished all of up to, <clears throat> up to a certain point. Yeah. And then a new season came out, so I'm still a little behind. Okay. Yeah, I think you should leave, dude. Oh. That show is wild. Yeah, just great sketch comedy. I don't know. Hysterical. So quotable, too. And it's all Tim just, Robinson? Tim Robinson, yeah. Uh, the thing is, when I first watched it, I thought I was going to like hate him. I was like, this guy's going to get so annoying. And for some reason, a lot of the jokes just start out with him being like annoying. And then he just doubles down and doubles down. And it gets more and more ridiculous. Once he's at like 32 centerfolds. Of yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then it, yeah, it pays off. Yeah. Good the stuff. The origami man. Highly recommended. That's a great one. Check that out. Mm. I don't know what to do with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... When we address the viewers, the yeah. viewers, that's obvious. That's easy enough. Right, right. But when we're saying next week, Hillary Clinton, that's our guest. Right. Check her out. Yeah, we're going to have a whole political round Not like round check table. her out, check her out, but like check her out on the show hey, next week. Do what week. you want. Free yeah, country. But don't say we told you to. <laughs> that's the point I'm making. <laughs> yeah, tell them the fellas sent you. They'll know yeah, what you it get means. a discount code on Hillary's OnlyFans? Yes, correct. Can OnlyFans do discount codes? Could we get sponsored by OnlyFans accounts? Oh, man. I don't think it's a feature yet. This might have to be our very own website. We need to write in a letter. Dear sirs and or madams and <laughs> everyone else who might be in the room in charge of this. Mm. I could do better on that. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. We'll I'll have workshop to workshop it. that one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't subscribe to OnlyFans, nor am I a content creator, but I think that you should institute this feature, mm. implement this feature. Yeah, yeah this should work. That'll yeah, as like a marketing thing. They'll listen. We're idea guys. I would say so. <laughs> Except how do you sell an OnlyFans account on an audio podcast? You know what I mean? We're not an audio We're podcast, not a podcast anymore, podcast anymore. That's buddy. That's true. Yeah. Ooh. Where are we now? I think we should switch it up. Oh. Challenge me. Ooh. We're in Hogwarts. <gasps> are we going to get hit with a lawsuit for that because of our massive reach and influence? Uh, Almost definitely, but I'm confident I can beat it without a lawyer. What if it has Shutterstock across it? Yeah, it has like a watermark. Yeah. Then Shutterstock will get sued by Harry Potter. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if I Photoshop a Shutterstock watermark onto <laughs> A picture of Harry Potter's castle or bedroom or whatever. Then we own Harry Potter. Yeah, it flips fully reversed. This is reversed. how you play Disney. Yeah, it's a double reverse Uno card in that case, which Does, wins the game of Uno. Going which everyone knows that if you have a double reverse Uno, you win the game. You just stop in place, do a 360, and keep walking, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have to moonwalk out of the room, and then everyone has to bow down to you. It's awesome. Like Glitch It happens so engine. rarely. It's like more rare than a royal flush, you know what I mean? But it's in the rules. You can read it in the manual. Is that where you uh, take a dump while wearing the Burger King crown? Where? On playing Uno? A royal flush. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. But the toilet must be gold and the water must be wine. <laughs> I don't have 
the kind of funds for either of those. Well, you're not royal. I'm sorry. Shit. Yeah, and you never I have will to go be. throw my Burger King crown away. Then yeah, the third yeah. Piece. Do you remember back in high school when looking up shit on Urban Dictionary was an acceptable way to spend like a free period? I still look stuff on, on Urban Dictionary sometimes. I don't know what all these kids are saying. I gotta like look things up every Where once in a while. Things that you don't know. I don't know, like TikTok and Instagram and shit. You got a TikTok? I actually downloaded it for the first time today. Because and then shout look shit out, up on, in, on be, Urban Dictionary today. No, I'm just saying in general. Well, I also see TikToks on Instagram and I see TikToks on YouTube. But I did get a TikTok today, so coincidentally. But we do have a a couple of fellas TikTok account that uh, we haven't used yet. <laughs> yeah, not quite interested right now. You don't want to be a content creator. Not on TikTok. Me I neither. I just got. The reason, though, I got it was because our boy, Jake Rudolph, shout out Jake, lovely, mm. wonderful singer. My little. He has a TikTok, and he was like, yo, guys, like follow my TikTok. I was like, all right, I got it. And he's like, posting like sweet-ass singing videos. Oh, he's so freaking good at singing. He's so talented, he's man. He's so freaking good at singing. Oh, living and with music him was such in a general. treat. Yeah. Mm. He'd walk in at the end of the long-ass day of classes, and there'd be somebody singing from downstairs. Right. right. This is sweet. Absolutely. And like also, coincidentally, he loved Harry Potter. <gasps> so now do I have to edit Jake into the Harry Potter background? <laughs> you have to edit a video of him singing, but not so loud that it's like louder than our speaking voices. This is going to be hard. Can you send me one from TikTok? <laughs> yeah, sure. But you're going to have to edit the background out because we just want him. It would look very amateur if we put him just in a square it. video over Hogwarts. It would look very internet historic. No, I could cut that out. You're right. Mm. You also have to put like, mm, what house would he be in? No, let's, let's, have we talked about what, we've definitely talked about what houses we'd be in. Look, I, I don't want to speak for Jake where he's not here to defend you're himself. You're right. We should have him on. Of he's course. our guest next week. I would, oh. <laughs> That's this is going to get very old very fast. And yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling a John. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm latching John to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we uh we got to get him on one of these days. But anyway, our houses. Mm. Yeah, when uh I was going through RA training at the start of sophomore year, that was a big enough thing in my team of RAs that we all had to take the Pottermore extended quiz. I've taken that for fun. And I took it twice, trying to be as genuine and then also fucking with it. And I'm disappointed to say that both times I got heavy Gryffindor scores. Same thing happened to me. And I was like, this is corny, and now I don't want to tell anyone. Yeah, same exact <laughs> thing happened to me. I was like, Maybe I'm edgy. I think I'm a Slytherin. Let's yeah. find out. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucking Gryffindor yeah. like every wannabe cosplays as hair i wonder how much it leans towards gryffindor i was one th yeah there's probably a skew 35 25 20 mm. 20 or something because i've seen people get ravenclaw yeah i've seen happens. people get slither it also gives you a balance between them i think it's probably not too skewed because of the number of questions and hmm. like well also that it's all divisible by four the number of answers and there's pretty clear leanings in the answers a lot of the time yeah 75 percent of them i was reading it and i'm like okay so that's the ravenclaw answer that's the hufflepuff answer mm. that's the gryffindor well because i remember the questions weren't like straight up like like uh personality test questions it was like you walk into a dungeon and in front of you you see a dagger a glass chalice a golden necklace yeah cosplay and it's <laughs> like which one do you pick up it's like uh I guess the dagger, and like then you go from there. Yeah, you know, but like, weird ass questions. They kind of line up with the houses, values, the yeah. shit of that. Especially if you did read them all and see them all, which I have. True. <laughs> Maybe multiple times for most of that. Did you read them and see them? Oh yeah. I'm curious. So I might have read them more than once because I remember reading them under my desk in second grade. Do you think? I'm getting in trouble. Do you think that certain mediums are better for certain like types of stories? Like, do you think that liter like the written word is the best form of like fantasy? Is like the best medium for fantasy? I think because people always say with like I think Harry video Potter, can come close, but the written word is probably the best. I think hmm. that it is a way that you have more flexibility in language than you do in image mm. to depict exactly what is happening or who these characters are or what the setting is right and 
I think that there's the benefit of it being a sum total of much more generally in a novel than a movie. Mm. And I think that that lets you develop it much further. Like the Brandon Sanderson novels that I read are massively deep. The world yeah. building is unbelievable and above mm. and beyond any movie series that I have seen. Do you think that they some of them are better over audiobook? I think there are some, and it, that it probably depends on the style. Gro, oh, great example. Mm -hmm. uh, Yahtzee Croshaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Escapist Reviews on YouTube. Very, very, very funny. Uh, Zero Punctuation is yeah. the series. He has written several fictional books, and I bought several of them, like maybe four of five or four of six, mm -hmm. on Audible. And I've listened to two or three of them now, and they are stellar. Right. But I'm so used to his zero punctuation being so quick, and I've watched hours of his YouTube videos, so now right. that's like the the pace and style of him that I am accustomed to and like. Yeah. So I'm listening to it on audiobook, sped up, narrated by him, and it's his book, and I think that is the optimum way for me to consume it. Maybe at normal speed, but still him reading it would right. be best for a lot of people. Okay. Reading his novels, I'm sure, is also nice, but I think that his tone augments the word choice and structure and stylistic choices he made mm. in a way that you reading it in your head would not. Okay. Like maybe for me, it would be similar because I've heard him so much. I might, I might be reading it kind of in his voice now, mm -hmm. but I think audiobook works really well for that. So for that particular gotcha. creator whose work I am reading. Yeah. Audiobook. What do you think would be the best? Do you think, cinema is the best for action because i think there are so many people who would like read comic books like very actiony comic books whether it's superheroes or walking dead or i don't know sandman it's like kind of actiony in certain parts like that they say that those are better than their or manga for example too like pretty much all anime a lot of people say that the written version like the manga or the comic book is better than the movie or tv show I think for manga versus anime, that's mm. because you're more able to have the story come through maybe mm. when you're reading it. There's yeah. time for it to digest. You're filling in gaps in your head, so right. you're building out this imaginary world more. Whereas in the show, it's kind of more of that prepackaged appeal to everyone, give you the whole picture type of entertainment. Mm. So there's maybe less flexibility and less connection to it. Right. And especially when again just with stuff being written it tends it takes longer mm -hmm. and it tends to be more drawn out i think that that probably engenders a deeper connection when you're reading manga than watching anime right i think that cinema is probably best or tv shows now are the quality of cinema so that counts right yeah like i, I don't think that's the best for action I don't think John Wick would work nearly as well as a comic book. Like seeing a all those maneuvers book, and everything. A comic book or an audio book or a regular book. I don't. Right. I don't think so. As, or a live as play. a video game. Could as it a be, video game. Could it be done better as a video game? Or no. do you think the thrill ride is like? I think that cinema peaks over video game for that particular story. Ex it's it's an exact story. There's no flexibility. There's no player choice. There's right. no room for trial and error. You it don't, uses its medium you to the fullest. At, you don't die and respawn. Yeah. The whole thing it is he is John Wick because he is as close to flawless as you can be. Like he takes hits, but right. He mows through dozens of guys and if you are respawning every 12 minutes because there's dozens of guys. It breaks the tension. Yes. Yeah. I think cinema is the best for action because especially since like I don't know, maybe 2000 movies mm -hmm. have gotten so good in the realism that they can convey the the motions look right mm -hmm. and i think that stunts and everything have just gotten so much better that it is engrossing and beautiful to watch a well choreographed fight i think that the marvel yeah. series does a really good job of that all the marvel ips i think that their fights are characterized really well mm -hmm. i think that you can see like if you saw only in the outline of the bodies i yeah. think you would know who each character was just by watching their frame move yeah they're all like, designed pretty well exactly they're designed well they fight differently everybody has you like there's so much attention to detail and depth in the orchestra of combat yeah that it is a true like cinematic work of art yeah it needs that extra visual dimension you can't build that out in your head as fast as you read 
or yeah. by filling in the gaps in a comic book, it won't be as magnificent. It won't be as thorough. Yeah, You'll, you would take the dozens of hours that they take per minute of film for every page of the comic book to fill in everything to the same degree. A picture is worth a thousand words after all. And a moving picture is worth a thousand every frame. Right. Or 60. Every every frame. Oh, right. Of course. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> a so, thousand frames a second. There you go. Mm. So I do think, yeah, combat, action, that type of thing, where there's like a physical nature to the story, mm. I think works better that way. Bridgerton, which is currently sweeping Netflix for being softcore porn with period piece <laughs> outfits, with just great set and costume design. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> great, great set and costume design. I loved. Oh, man. And the racial equality flair that we loved Hamilton bringing to the main stage. Absolutely. Woke snaps for that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I think Bridgerton would probably be fine as a novel. Mm. The same way Fifty Shades of Grey took off, but the movie flopped. Mm. I think Bridgerton I think as those an audio did well, book, didn't they? Uh, they, they got flopped. panned. Yeah, yeah, they got panned. Right. I'm sure they were commercially fine. Yeah. There's a lot they of made three fucking horny movies. housewives. Yeah. I watched, I think, one of them and hated it. What was bad about it? There is, it was just a terrible casting decision. Not that either one was bad in their role, but they had zero chemistry. I like, see. so visibly zero chemistry that it was uncomfortable to watch. And in a movie that's pushing boundaries in the way that that topic does, yeah. it needs to be like engaging so, or believable. Yeah. Like, it, sh you should be seeing to be a fucking <laughs> loser about it passion on the screen right not right. awkward tension otherwise it's porn it but like it's porn wor but worse was, yeah, yeah exactly the acting <laughs> it, was worse yeah exactly well in those scenes well not even like it sounds like it was like porn grade acting <laughs> but like not actual porn that so was it's the like, problem who cares? when you have other romantic interests in other movies help me name a better one whoever the fuck and leo in titanic rose even. yeah but i didn't remember the actress's name from the young one i should the redhead, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Yeah, them. Like, you believe that they are wanting to run away together and right. everything else. Yeah, if only Fifty you Shades of Grey casted Leo. <laughs> it would have been a great movie. Could you imagine if it was like Leo and Margot Robbie? I'd have paid to see it in theaters then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Leo and Margot Robbie. Yeah, yeah like The, the Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street. Street. Exactly. Jinx, you owe me another beer. Oh. <sighs> We'll get it when the pork's done. That's going to be our little ad break. Do you think we should check the pork? Uh, there's a timer. That's Alexa. a euphemism. Yeah, but we guessed the timer. How much time is left? Oh, true. All right, folks. No oh, what? Hold on. We'll We're right pausing. <laughs> yep. Welcome back from that short ad break. Absolutely. Now with 100% uh, more dog. That's one more dog than there was before. We got that from the sponsor, Wait, actually. Isn't What's that it? infinity percent more? Oh, true, yeah. If we go from zero to one. Yeah, it's more than double it's for sure. It's been a minute since I've done math. It's yeah. at least three times zero. Yeah, yeah. 300% right. more dog. How about that? Had a little bit of a break. The pork was not overcooked. In fact, it needed 10 more minutes. Yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> I know you were all deeply troubled about that. Oh, no, dude. The first time it went... Oh, right, because there was no timer, of course. Yeah. So long ago for us now. That was... If you couldn't hear Alexa in the distance, that was why we leapt up out of our seats. You have no timer set is not what you want to hear when you've had a big hunk of meat in the oven for almost yeah, an hour. and I could hear it sizzling, too. We were scared, but it turned out okay. Yeah. So, Zane, tell me after this ad break, where are we? We're at your apartment. No, you but I mean, like, idiot. Uh, all right, but yeah, we'll take a picture of my apartment wall <laughs> afterwards, and we'll put it up on the green screen. The other side, like, facing that way, so you just have double the floor space. Yeah, and you know what we'll do, actually? We'll leave the p phone or the camera, I mean, the high-end video <laughs> specific <laughs> camera. We'll leave that where the it phantom is. Phantom slow mo camera. Yeah, we'll take down the green screen, take a picture so it hasn't moved at all, and then we'll just green screen that in. Yes. I think that's what the people want to see more than anything. No, that one sounds like too much work. Okay, fine. <laughs> we can be, uh, I don't know. Isn't it your turn to pick? No, I picked Hogwarts and I picked Space. Oh. Your apartment does sound fun, but we could also do Dog Island. Have you seen Dog Island? Dog Island, the... It is like 
not a movie. It is an island off the coast of I don't even remember what country, but it is just a dog rescue. Hmm. So it's this small island with hundreds of dogs. Are they all a bunch of like scrawny strays? No, they're like playful and kind of well fed. And I think there's, you know, like an animal shelter that operates the island or oh, something. Wow. It's like a big rescue. Are they aggressive? No, because people can go there like for tourism. Oh, so they're at least friendly to people. Yeah, I think they're mostly previously pets. Wow. I kind of want to go to one of those places that are just known for having it like a kind of animal run around. Like those monkeys that like also go in hot springs. Oh, I want to chill with some quackas. Yeah, Those dude. things do not give a fuck. They are buddies with everyone. They're so capybaras, smart too. Quackas and capybaras, I think are both kind of super chill mm. either one though i want pictures with them <laughs> right right because they're the ones that like it yeah like, oh yeah the ones that pose no predators dude if you could like go totally invisible like ethereal and you're just viewing some sort of like animal wildlife like what ecosystem would you want to see the most I think underwater would be sick if you Re- just had Oh, that's a great... I didn't even think of underwater. Yeah, if we're getting go anywhere, super... Uh, not omnipotent. Basically, you're just a third-person camera. Omniscient. Right, right. We get omniscience in, like, what, where in the location that we are. We right. We just be there, unharmed, seeing, yeah. catching it all. Yeah, underwater. That would be sick. Especially wow. because you need... Like, you're talking about, like, deep, deep sea? Yeah, especially because you usually need, you know, millions of dollars worth of funding and That's incredibly true. high, highly built submarines. Yeah. I think that would be sick. Yeah. I was thinking, like, the rainforest, but I could see that stuff on National Geographic. Rainforest is dope, too. The deep, deep but sea is so, like, unexplored. To experience with mystical powers? Yeah. Would you rather do that or Mars? I actually think deep sea would be more I interesting. I think it'd be so much cooler, dude. Mars would be so boring. Oh because my god! Because this isn't like you're the person who went to Mars. This yeah. is just for your enjoyment and an learning. Yeah, thing. exactly. And all you see is this like rusted colored desert in front of you. Oh my god! A couple d- of robots yeah. sending very confused data back to Langley. Yeah, what a what a letdown that would be if you didn't have to take an arduous journey to get there. Undersea, yeah, deep sea with all the alien creatures. Undersea, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool one. That's a really cool. I'm thinking where else would I want to go if we just keep broadening the scope? For some reason, like I was other planets. Mm. And then I just got on a, a little bit of a sidetrack How train. How close of, could you get to a dark hole, to a black hole? I want to relive interstellar. Yeah, I want to see what happens when I travel through a black hole, but I can move through space just like at a whim as if i were like an indestructible or unaffected by gravity like a drone camera yeah that'd be real real cool to pan in and out of a black hole look but also like your eyes one on either side of the event horizon Mm. what is that like that yeah i don't know no (laughs) one does that's a great point we never will (laughs) that's a literal unknowable Yeah. yeah oh hmm there's a couple of questions like that. Black holes are glitches. Black holes are fucking cool. Yeah. And now we're getting more and more pictures and more and more measurements. Mm-hmm. They have now finished a survey of about 4% of the northern hemisphere's sky, and they've found more than 25,000 black holes in really? the observable portion of 4%. What of are they all doing? Holing. Yeah. I think they kind of just be. They do be. Hmm. Are they generally the oldest stars? I think biggest. Most massive. Correct. Yeah. But generally with stars, they're all functioning on the same fusion, so biggest is most massive. Don't... Except depending on the timeline. Like, later in life, it could swell or shrink, but Mm. if we're talking about, like, a snapshot at X years into the life cycle of any given star... Mm. I think bigger is more massive. Don't sometimes they burst into a supernova? Yeah. It's uh I listened to the audiobook of Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Mm. Fantastic. It really goes on a whole journey of just science and shit that we've learned and yeah. it puts it all in a very very appropriate like this is where you are and how big you are really mm-hmm. perspective. Yeah. But that is one of the things that he was talking about in it and I think you should listen to the book. Okay, okay. 
you hmm. I'm doing a hard turn because sure. this is something that I wanted to talk about. Okay. In our most recent Dungeons and Dragons sessions. Oh god, yeah, the D and D corner for everyone back home. We are fucking cool. <laughs> you oh, paint this picture for us. What was going through your head? Why did you do this? Okay. So I'm a smooth talking kind of guy, right? And You were. Yeah, and there's this well l- we can get there. There's a <laughs> uh, there was this banshee right and banshees are incredibly dangerous like there's no way that we could fight one one one-on-one and i went in there like a boss and i negotiated with this banshee got exactly what we wanted pieced out unharmed made a new friend so then we go to this other town and there's a dragon who comes out and says i don't want to harm you i just want to talk uh come to my lair if you want to live and i was like sounds good to me like i make friends easily this guy's like willing to talk. He could have just stomped around and like hunted us down, but he did it. So I'm like, you know what? I think I got this. This dragon seems like he like knows something. It seems like we can negotiate. Two of us in the four person group say this is a dumb idea. While he's inside his little tower, mm. we should leave. Dip. Yeah. We should go do anything, anything else that we have found that is more attainable and not fuck with a dragon mm-hmm. at whatever level three people we are. Yeah. Not, not dragon level, not dragon stuff. Okay. And uh, we voice these concerns to the yeah. group. But Steve and the fourth member of our party decided yeah, to decided. try to be a hero. I mean, not a hero, like just a friendly guy. And it was going great, too. Like, we were talking to this dragon. He was telling us about his family. He was like... <laughs> he, did, he was. He was saying that, like, he was down to specifically negotiate. Um, and he, it sounded like he knew a lot of good stuff that we were trying to learn. And then all of a sudden, he shows me a map where he wants me to go. I'm like, okay. And then when my back is turned, yeah, he fucking yanks he jank what is it shanks me i don't know you died yeah he killed me instantly he did so much kill i you. couldn't believe it you immediately died like you've been close to death a half dozen times yeah now. you've been unconscious several times but yeah no full health with extra and yeah just one shot boom fully dead crazy <laughs> As the doornail. Couldn't believe it. And uh, how long have we been playing with this character? You've been you've been this character for what? Three months now? Two months Has, now? Yeah, because we started over winter break. So yeah. At like the end of December. Yeah. So more so than like, two months. Yeah. And dead, died, gone forever. Yeah, from gone this imaginary forever. weekly game we play. But now I get to I just get to play a new character. Yeah, and she's pretty. Yeah, I'm playing a woman because I'm hashtag woke everybody. That's exactly why. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. You're going to mm. be a musician in yeah, a world of dragons. I am now a, an angelic bard who plays emo music. I'm pretty pumped. Her parents don't get her. Don't okay? you mean pretty punked? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> dude. Rock on. Because she's a fallen angel, right? So she has like Ooh. skeleton wings and all this kind of Ooh. stuff. Like She basically looks like a Hot Topic customer's wet dream is what I'm imagining. And also a talented musician. Yeah, exactly. And she's a punk rock as fuck. And she sings and she plays the lute. Dude, that's metal. Yeah. And her words become realities. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. So I'm <laughs> It's not, kind of a good thing you tried to talk shit to a dragon. Yeah, man. I'm not too bummed out about it. It could be a lot worse. I'll say that. <sighs> Left a lot of gold on your corpse. I did. I did. Good thing I tipped a lot of it. So a lot of it's still out there. <laughs> I was a big tipper. I was a big tipper. I was winning people over left and right. With just the tip, yeah. Yeah, pretty (laughs) much. Just the tip, that's all you need. That's fair. Make people remember you with just that. It's how you spend it. You're right. You know what I mean? (sighs) Steven. Yeah. Nothing. (laughs) (laughs) We're on video and the pressure's on. Dude, seriously. It's like I... (laughs) I keep like kind of looking at it, like I'm looking at it right now. I don't know if ever, if I'm looking into anyone's soul. I hope maybe that could be effective. I'm trying. But yeah, definitely for whatever reason it does feel like there's more pressure on. We've locked down the mojo when it's just us on just audio, but we've got mm. to figure this out. We've got to crack this code. Right. Yeah, it's the fact that where I'm looking matters. I think you're right. It's you know breaking what I mean? the flow. We're yeah. not we're not locked in in the same way. Yeah, we're not riding that same wavelength. I think next time we do cross with two videos, hmm. one on each of us, 
maybe it's gonna be a bitch to cut back and forth but maybe we can just split and put them next to each other yeah consistent feed yeah exactly i mean you can do that and then it'll show them side by side until you cut one out and then you just like make the same cuts on all of them delete every other thing okay yeah i guess that works too you will although and you could put up both at the same time as well that also works for like some parts you'll want both of us on well i was figuring the baby steps would just be to put both of us the whole time oh just the whole time (laughs) yeah yeah definitely (sighs) (laughs) legions of loyal fans if any of you have video editing experience yeah hit us up we will uh pay for some lessons Ooh, we could pay for lessons or we could just pay for them to do it (gasps) oh is it time to expand the team (laughs) it's been more than a year now yeah true this episode is at least close to episode 69 i'm gonna say it's not worth it right now um <laughs> given, given that we haven't monetized at exactly all. given that we yeah we have no cash flow on which to still invest. negative yeah yeah in the red on this venture right 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 that's all right i think we got to start yeah it would have to start producing on its own before it started paying for its own upgrades maybe it's time just to like look these for lights in this green screen and these microphones <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we should just green screen big stacks of money behind us from all of our sponsors. Ooh. I don't know if the stacks of money will turn into real money. Maybe if we <laughs> just put a bunch Manifest. of logos up. A bunch of logos? Like, yeah. a NAS- like a stock car? Yeah, basically. Yeah, we'll just throw them up. No soul in it at all. I like that. Yeah, we mm. can sell out. Yeah. I think well, we have a broad enough reach. When we do have real ad reads, too, we could just throw, like... A video. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a picture of their logo or a video up on the green screen. It'll be great, dude. Or a skit. A skit on the green screen while we're having the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds <Yes>. messy. <laughs> wow, look at us. <laughs> and then it's meanwhile, it's just the two of us staring for like, yeah, I like three that. and a half minutes. I like it a lot. Or what we could do. Please tell me. Is have a screen somewhere that we're both looking at. Like, let's say it's like behind the lights or something, right? And then if we have the laptop or something synced up to that screen, we could watch while it's playing and then sync it up to the green screen. That's actually kind of sick. If we had like a live editing software that went into the laptop and then we could, yeah, just like sync it up the recording with what we're throwing on screen. That's like what streamers do, basically, is they'll sit in front of a green screen when they stream. I'm sure you've seen people like that. Yeah, yeah. like It looks like them in front of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Totally possible brilliant yeah we might need to do a different seating setup so this couch doesn't eat up so much of our green screen right i mean the thing is like we'll see us like if we if i had a computer like or a laptop whatever right in front of me i would see us and i would know kind of like how to position it okay whatever we're doing we might not have like a whole computer screen though if that's what you're thinking or when we bring in the third person that's when we get this fancy Hmm. right right this might be better with a third person handling that actively might be difficult to keep the conversation going while you're managing that tech support stuff. I mean, kind of. Although, we do look things up on the podcast sometimes. Not often. That's true. But we could. Like, let's say we were doing a Reddit. <laughs> you're right. Let's say we were doing one of those, like, would you rather just something to, like, actually have the text on the screen. I think Ooh, that's a nice touch. You're right. Oh, man. Maybe we just both need iPads so we can doodle and we're both on the same green screen projection like a shared Google hmm. sheet. Oh, can, that, yeah, that's not a bad idea. And we we each have our own. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's top shelf entertainment. Is there an age? No. Damn it. Is there an O? <laughs> yes. Okay. I still have no idea. <laughs> Coppola. <laughs> That's your hint. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's some work we could do. Right. Big plans. Big plans for this yeah. podcast. Dude, one thing with Hangman I, I realized that like kids definitely do is I feel like people had so many tricks to draw so many more body parts and clothing and like facial features like, like onto the hangman. So you could have essentially eight stocks, 10 like, stocks, 30 stocks. Yeah. You could get through the whole alphabet eventually. Yeah. If you had a really creative person, I usually stopped at like facial features. Yeah. I wasn't going to draw clothing. Sometimes I would here. draw a hat. Sometimes I would draw a hat for sure. Who have you ever seen get hanged with their hat on? 
course only they the f- take your hat. They have to put a noose over your head. Oh, true. They wouldn't let you wear it afterwards to die cool. in dignity. If I have to get hanged, make sure you put a ball cap on after I go through <laughs> the rope. <laughs> and put my thumbs up. I want to be weekend at Bernie's afterwards. Oh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna That's hang dark. me, if we you're gonna dark. hang me, at least make it like a whole marionette situation. <laughs> you're the type of fucker that would put Pop Goes the Weasel at their funeral. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I love that idea. Hmm. I really do. What's the idea? To have somebody play the like. And then what happens? You pop just a- nothing tension for a minute. Oh, it slows down. Da, 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 da. And then it doesn't. Oh, pop it just doesn't the- pay off. <laughs> that would be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you spring load your body in the coffin. <laughs> but it will be a really funny social experiment to see how many minutes everyone sits there before somebody goes up to check the coffin. <laughs> it's definitely a good social experiment. It's terrible that you'll never get to know how it ends. <laughs> you'll have to write a report about it when you'll outlive me i'm sure okay but okay but (laughs) (laughs) i'm saying this is your idea yeah you're invited to the funeral i assume yes i know but you this is your idea you're gonna have to do the follow-through that's what i'm saying right so you will never see the benefit of everyone else (laughs) (laughs) i'm a giver like that humankind needs to know yeah this is how the real grassroots science gets done you are prometheus being burned in the sun to give humans light and fire. That's exactly how I saw it, too. Yeah, shunned by the gods to give humans their knowledge. But, like, that's a fun one. Mm. Or hiring somebody to dress up as the Grim Reaper and attend your funeral. Also fun. Very oh. tasteful. <laughs> it's not too soon if it's me. <laughs> right? That's why I love playing this out. I'm like, oh, man, there's some creative ideas. We mm. can do something. <laughs> Help me plan my funeral arrangements. <laughs> Weigh in in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe. Rate my setup. <laughs> the interior of the coffin. Yeah. Uh, Velvet. I wonder sometimes in a will, like, if I'll be cognizant enough to put, like, little funny things in a will. Like, oh, God, I hope A so. random person I, like, kind of know, but, like, we talked about this one thing once. It's like, yeah, I kind of want to give him that. <laughs> I leave him all of my unopened pairs of Hanes socks. Yeah, exactly. Like, one time we both talked about how much we loved Fruit of the Loom. And, like, <laughs> I have this pack that I never opened. Yeah, give it to him. No one else I know would appreciate Fruit of the Loom as much as him. I think because of this conversation, I'm going to make an effort to have a whole bunch of little things set like that well yeah, ahead of time right like oh, maybe over the years or maybe just add things too the way you could maybe keep track of it so it's not like so amorphous is like the first time you meet someone take note of something you talked about <laughs> and just and add just keep everyone a, i keep meet a running list it's like this everyone was, i meet we into talked my about will. this the first time we met and a lot of them might not remember or but some of them might some of them and might, just like and they'll know that you were thinking of them well, regardless, they'll know I was thinking of them. They'll get some kind of gift, some yeah. little nod, a yeah. token, bag of pennies, whatever. Yeah, box of condoms. <laughs> Half a box of condoms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's so po- weird. It's resealed? How- <laughs> <laughs> what is he t- trying to tell me? <laughs> yeah, that's a metaphor if I've ever heard one. Yeah, that's a puzzle. Oh, I haven't put any work ahead of time into the hypotheticals and would you rather's, but man, I want to veer that way again. Yeah, it's yeah, those so are fun. fun. But we need to be somewhere for it. What do oh, you mean? When we do our hypotheticals, if we're talking about Coliseum gladiator fights yeah. or plain safari animal hunting with swords, we can now add those <laughs> as the background. I love how we have to look around Freya when she sits up. <laughs> this is our best angle. <laughs> All the way back. The bottom of my chin. <laughs> my up. neck beard. You beautiful, there beautiful beast. You goofy girl. Mm. So I haven't put any thought in. Hmm. Have you? Have hmm. you seen any good ones? Uh, I was trying to look at some today. Uh, One of them was like, like a lot of them are so weird. and I don't know how people discuss them, but it was like, what if every day for the last, y- for like the first year of his presidency, 
Donald Trump just slowly got like one percent more invisible, or just like <laughs> went from zero to a hundred over a year of his presidency. He just became more and more invisible to the point where at the end just of the year, more translucent. Yeah, <laughs> the end of the year, he was completely invisible. What would happen? <laughs> what does that imply? Like, what would that change? How do people everything. react? <laughs> and I don't even know where to start the discussion. Right? Like, is he just like still like putting makeup on and stuff? Like, can he still wear clothes in this There's situation? Just an do you think? Shape of the face. Yeah, and like his hair on top. Oh yeah, well, that's a toupee. Does that go invisible with him? No, I don't think so. I so is he wearing the suit? Yeah, it's like a suit with makeup and a, a yeah. Toupee. He's like yeah. He's like the <laughs> invisible woman. Like if he wanted to be invisible, invisible, he would have to be naked. Okay, well, do you get to keep being president if you go invisible? I feel like hard to say. National security is going to be experimenting on you before they let you be in the White House again. Yeah, like is that is there a state of national emergency that's called when the president becomes invisible? That's DEFCON something, at least. Like, there's no legal precedent for this. And knowing Trump, there's like, There's no precedent he's, of any kind. Knowing Trump, he's going to fight for his, the office that he, like, won. You know what I mean? Like, How do you think Trump would respond to gradually turning invisible? Is this because of his doing? Or is this just being done to him? It just happens. Freaking nature. He just wakes up day one, doesn't notice day two, nothing. Day three or four, he's, like, 2%, 1, 2% lighter. Mm. He's like, huh huh yeah yeah and then after a week or two in the office every morning when he checks in the mirror people on you huh. people on like youtube and stuff definitely notice earlier because they analyze these things like yeah the it's like when something gets like seems to be lightning yeah all the like, hot air is escaping can we see through trump like when he walks behind that american flag you, those are very like well-defined lines a very like when he walked in front color. of those stage lights i saw some shining through yeah exactly <laughs> like is that just a weird lens flare that's like on huh. him how long i guess maybe about a month in we'd be coming up on eight and a half percent or something mm. and that's when you're getting towards the 10 percent is weber's law which is roughly 10 percent of a change in stimuli is how much it takes i think it was something like it's that. It's a ten yeah. percent change. Yeah, is right. what it is for the average human to percept that change. Right. So if you're listening to something at a volume of ten and you turn it to a volume of eleven, yeah, you'll just about be able to notice the difference. Right. If you're listening right. Listening at a volume of thirty and you turn it to thirty-one, you might not. Yeah. Right. Right. That's how I got my podcast and audiobook speed up. I just mm. changed it by less than ten percent and waited a week or two and then right. sped it up again imperceptibly. But It'd be like that. So maybe a month in, he's gone invisible enough that enough people have seen it. And like you can see through enough that yeah. they're like, okay, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And that would be how 2020 was kicking off. Do we think that he continues to be president? For a while, at least. A couple like, months Let's of say this happens in his first or second year of his presidency. Does he, Do you think he ends up serving his full term? No. I think they end invisible up invisible for two or three years of it. They tap Pence. You think so? He'll be invisible because he's gonna get got by CIA experimenters. <laughs> you think that his invisibility would make him un like make him see be seen as unfit for the presidency? Yes. Wow. I think at the very least that would be considered a medical anomaly, hmm. if not a literal oh my god could you imagine what the legions of trump supporters would have done if he started to develop the power of invisibility hmm. because you'll just see the suit and makeup standing in front of the mic and still hear his voice yeah Be like i did this it's yeah. the best invisibility <laughs> that any country's ever seen <laughs> yeah i am some would say a god in that way for no i'm one the else most the invisible yeah <laughs> And then all of a sudden he I'm just takes least. off all his clothes and like runs away. But that's like eight weeks from the end. So there's still like 12% dick left. Yeah. But I'm just <laughs> saying he like fully like Obi-Wan's from A New Hope. <laughs> just like, yeah, just robes fall and he's gone. Ghost no one can the find wind. him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he would be president, especially if he mm. does that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good point. <laughs> He's he may be a better strategist than I. He might not pull that fast one. Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Yeah. What would you do if you started gradually turning invisible? 
All right, how gradually? Same length, like over yeah, the course of one a year, year. I turn one fully year. invisible? Yes. For starting now? Yeah. The problem with that is that you don't... The best option for invisibility... Actually, you know what? I asked you, I will let you respond before hmm. I throw my two cents in. Sure. I have some takes. I mean, once when do I think I would start noticing it? I mean, probably pretty soon, like pretty soon, right? Like you notice little tiny things about yourself like all the time, I feel but like. But I also miss little tiny things, cuts like, and bruises and shit. And I'm like, I have no idea when that happened or how long that's been there. But when you're but I'm saying visually, I don't like especially like I look at my like fingernails probably I look at my face all and my the hands time. A lot. Yeah. I feel like you would know, especially because your fingers are so thin compared to like most of the rest of your body. Like you, I feel like their translucency would be more obvious than it would be in a thicker part of your body, like your sternum. The thing is, there's still so much matter there, depending on just the level that you zoom in, Hmm. in terms of like the number of cells or atoms or whatever, that like taking one out of every 10 out. Mm Mm-hmm would still leave a fuckload of them. And, like, there's spaces between atoms now. So, like, what level are you defining this loss of density? At the atomic level, there's just kind of bigger spaces. Hmm. I feel like it could stretch on for at least a few weeks. I'm just saying atoms are turning invisible until they're all invisible. Yeah. I think it would still take a few weeks for you to notice, maybe. Three weeks. Okay, okay. So, January... 21st you okay. realize so pretty much something's like, happening yeah right maybe another couple of weeks for you to confirm exactly what's going on yeah <laughs> google it why am i turning invisible why am i slightly translucent in 2016 or 2017 this happened to the president of the united <laughs> states <laughs> yeah it's on webmd yeah you might have cancer yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah everyone with cancer turns invisible everyone knows that <laughs> that's a dark way to put it <laughs> Uh, or a light way hmm. and an invisible way i guess there's that, no dark or light if you're invisible maybe that's the next coronavirus but symptom what would you do so we're saying you realize it a couple weeks into january you right. confirm it maybe early february by the end of february you have a pretty good idea of like the timeline you're like okay probably by the end of the year i'm full invisible right how do you go for the next 10 months uh <sighs> I don't know, make like viral videos, like shining flashlights through my hand and stuff. Be like, yo, check this out. That's a brilliant idea. Monetize off the bat. Absolutely. Excellent move. Yeah. Outstanding move. Right. Yeah. Become, yeah, just become like famous and stuff. People want to talk to me, get interviewed, get this podcast off the ground. And there's safety in that. Because if some shadowy government finds out about you, you're not just going to get got as easily i'll at least have the public eye defending me except for the fact that you literally don't have anyone's eye defending you because no one can see you ever you are the easiest person in the world to kidnap well if i'm famous that's like an easy way to kind of just get away from people will know that you're gone but i think past that like there's no they gonna find they literally can't see you to rescue you (laughs) yeah true (laughs) well if they see like someone kind of struggling or whatever because i'm like get the fuck off me like yeah, if they get seen in the act right but i mean if some like hit squad comes into your apartment and you're sleeping naked yeah you're you're done though like you are now invisible if you're gagged you're done mm. <laughs> i don't i think it's a very dangerous position to have publicly right. but why do you think people are out there to kill me because you are the only person in history <laughs> who has become invisible. The only one we know and of. And if you can figure out how, then suddenly you are the world's first trillionaire. Hmm. How, oh, true. You're about to get you think invisibility spoiler is a trillion- alert visioned like mm. the Hayward do. Yeah. That was a light one. You think, you think that invisibility is a trillion dollar industry? <laughs> How many hundreds of billions have we done in explodable things? Yeah. Satellites, space force, military shit. Mm. Biden's bomb in Syria. You think they wouldn't want to have invisible drones? Oh, wow. Yeah. Everything changes. Right. If you are the one country with invisibility, it's nukes all over again, except incredibly more versatile. Yeah. Yeah. I think invisibility is a trillion dollar industry. Holy yes. cow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely so if your what else body if we contains could, the secret for it if we could, i would be worried about that if we could make things invisible what would be good to make invisible like i feel like invisible shelves would be awesome 
aesthetically fuck yeah. yeah yeah exactly just kind of have like plants and stuff Except I already on the ran my goddamn temple into a shelf every other week that's true like there's one at work a metal office cubicle thing that opens up next to my head yeah and if i stand up out of my chair and pivot away from this you know like corner desk that hmm. i have i have slammed my head into it okay with my boss watching me yeah i brought in foam from my air conditioner that you use to seal the window and taped it all over it right so. Well, even then, you could suspend things in the invisible shelf, so it's just like kind of like in a floating platform. So it's there still yeah, is a, yeah. a I visual think aesthetically signifier. It's so cool. I'm just Hell saying yeah. I need to be extra careful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've sustained some damage from shelving lately, and that's the visible kind. Even like invisible phones that were just a screen looking. Oh, <laughs> if the light still shines, so you yeah. can still see the image. Yeah, that would be fucking cool. Until you put it down once. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you put it down upside down. <laughs> fuck, dude. Where is this thing? Gone forever. <laughs> Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. Okay, what else would I want to turn in? That's an awesome power. Hmm. You can turn other things invisible. And let's say that's actually like the invisible woman from Fantastic Four. Oh, that's and sick. like Violet from The Incredible. Yeah, but that's like casting an invisibility kind of sphere, right? We're, I thought we're kind of like imbuing any object thing, like oh. we're, like I'm I'm thinking that's more how flexibly. I, okay, fair enough. Because, yeah, like yeah. I want to make an object or animal per- invisible. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, you could definitely pimp yourself out to the U.S. military and make a pretty penny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> that just comes to mind as one of the monetize immediately schemes. We yeah, could like uh, what would it be? Invisible bulletproof vests. Oh, yeah. That's f- brilliant. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? It would be fun. Hmm. Outerwear. So that in the middle of winter, Invisible you could be walking coats? around in like just short shorts and a tank top yeah, but dude. with a layer of like hat scarf mittens gloves coat and you just look like unfazed yeah that is pretty cool yeah you could be pretty fashionable all year round if you had invisible coats that's thinking outside the box right because oh because you're saying that otherwise if you put on an invisible coat you would be invisible would, within it that's right. like the sphere i'm saying we're like imbuing the the same way that trump yeah. turns invisible we are instantly turning an object an entity right right okay invisible, okay which is fun to think about. yeah i'm looking around and i'm like the the tripod for our new <laughs> lights the, my microphone <laughs> just me again <laughs> everything i see yeah. the green screen wait no turn it back it doesn't work anymore uh the walls of my house we could take a picture of the wall behind it, and when we're talking about invisibility, we could just project the image yeah. <laughs> that it would be if we didn't put the green screen up. Oh. But it took so much work. Mm. What else would turn invisible? Oh, there's a lot of fun ones. I'm failing to think of them because a lot seem to have illegal implications. Like what? Like arms trafficking. Our friend does it legally, but if you can just make things invisible or anything oh, trafficking. Yeah. Anything trafficking, actually. Yeah, true. I've been watching the show um, Trafficking with yeah. Mariana Van Zeller. She, okay. It was originally a show for Nat Geo, but it's on mm, Hulu, I think. Okay. And it's really, really cool. She does some intense journalism work, and it's all each episode is about... It's like a docuseries, and each episode is about a different trafficked item good commodity Mm -hmm. people is one of the episodes so i don't necessarily want to say (laughs) item good commodity but otherwise it's like cocaine steroids weapons uh what other things yeah pimps was one Mm. so really cool though she is down in colombia at these family-run farms where they grow the coca leaves she's walking with people as they transport it throughout the continent and it's all really well reported and really cool, but that's why I think trafficked is on the brain. Okay, I think an invisible I don't ceiling things. would be cool. In, <laughs> an if invisible you could ceiling at the night, up at like night. Ceiling, much better answer. <laughs> <laughs> Except in your apartment, where if you made your ceiling invisible, you would just see up from the floor into right, your right. neighbor's apartment yeah definitely well i mean well these ceilings would be expensive they wouldn't be for an apartment yeah, unless you're on the top floor penthouse which might be like a perk yeah dude penthouse with an invisible roof mm. that's pretty sick yeah Most invisible windows time. until you want <laughs> to block out the sunlight from 
everywhere. I mean, you can still put a curtain over them. I guess so. Invisible windows. <laughs> you can just curtain. Yeah, no. Everything. I was trying to think. I was trying to think of like the most pointless one. You, you can, can already see w- through windows. Wallpaper. Everything. There's. There's no walls, no Invisible ceiling, wallpaper. no doors. There's just curtains. Invisible paint. He just has six square feet of curtain. <laughs> invisible photographs. <laughs> See, yeah, to help you remember all your invisible memories. Yeah, invisible glasses. See, there's plenty of invisible uses. Invisible glasses is actually kind of cool. Or even parts of glasses. Like the rims, like the frames. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the glass. <laughs> just frame it looks like glassless frames yeah and you also they so do, cool they also still don't help your vision <laughs> <laughs> it stops refracting the light if it's invisible you're right yeah exactly you would have to leave the glass i wasn't thinking ahead mm. i'm really not that creative because i'm like oh, oh my socks <laughs> 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 we already did clothes <laughs> invisible socks invisible socks would actually be really good because there's so many shoes that are not stylish to wear (gasps) with socks on like boat shoes and stuff but like uh yeah sandals yeah sandals i don't want to chafe yeah true but yeah exactly you could totally just like wear socks except the thing is like a lot of like sandals and stuff that's also for the beach so you don't want to be wearing socks at the beach that is a terrible idea oh we're idiots hmm not that it'd be the best way to rep our sponsor after the fact, but our sponsor <gasps> is Fleshlight. Yeah. Invisible Fleshlight. Hide Ooh. your shame, not your pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be something weird to look at, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? While you're using it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to imagine it, but now I can't stop. That'd be so, because they make clear ones. And you can't either. Yeah. No one can. It's impossible. But it, this would be really, really clear. Hmm. Like, invisible. Right, right, right. I stand by it. That's a good one. You don't have to hide that. Yeah. That'd be, oh, that'd be pretty nuts. Handcuffs. The fun kind, the fuzzy ones. Invisible handcuffs? Yeah. Hmm. Again, just easier to have in plain <laughs> sight. They could be dangling off your backpack. Oh, I see. Are you assuming <laughs> that you could de-invisibilize these things? No. You just gotta keep <laughs> track of it. <laughs> All of this is permanent. At that point, just put it in like the closet. My dog. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. dog. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, this is like a Midas touch kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> invisible. <laughs> Future. Uh, alone. Yeah, alone. Just floating in the middle of it. I touch the dirt. Yeah. And the earth goes invisible. The earth invisible. goes invisible below everybody. That People in the city nuts. are the last to notice because everything's like paved over. That would be insane mm. if the earth became invisible except for the webby shell of what humanity's built on top of it. Right. That'd be oh. a cool view to look at. Man, what would happen in like mines? That'd be so weird. You could be like under people. Like, because you could still dig into it. You just It'd don't be like turning your view of the world to wireframe mode yeah we, and then dude, looking through everything i feel like that's ex- a, 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 i feel like that's essentially what we would have to do if we were trying to like dig a big hole like for like a basement or something like that we would have to kind of wireframe it out i feel like that's what we would generally do in places that didn't have payment and were just the ground is we'd have to like oh i mean does grass count can we see grass this is the whole the whole kit kat and caboodle right we're talking gaia the okay. Whole thing is now okay. invisible. Right. Animals. How are animals doing? Bewildered. Okay. Frankly. <laughs> so now, like, camouflage is not a thing anymore. <laughs> Nor can they fucking see their water. They better hear or navigate by something. Right. It, everything's invisible. Oh, my God. The ecosystem God. is in shambles. That's not the question. For sure, that's Is bad. water invisible? No. Okay. You can see all the oceans. That's so cool. You could like look directly down and see like the what You could point a telescope and make eye contact with somebody across the earth. Wow. If there wasn't like water or whatever in the way, something that we didn't cut out with this delete feature. Dude, flat earthers would be kicking themselves. <laughs> all we had to do <laughs> to prove them wrong was turn the earth invisible. <laughs> That's it, dude. This whole time. Yeah. Well, there we go. Now we know what the topic of this episode is. We solved flat eartherism. Yeah, well, we have a solution. We still have to implement it. We have a theory. Oh, wait till you see what I can do. (laughs) Yeah. Let's get outside and check it out. Hell yeah, dude. Real quick. What you can do is 
in the edit, see if you can make your hand go invisible for like a couple seconds. Or not. That might be a lot of work. We'll see. Remember to tune in next week and catch our guest, Barack Springsteen. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>